Hello and welcome to the second part of the tutorial. Today um, I will show you how to import a river to the landscape we already have here. I downloaded files from geofabric.de um, I will post the link down below so you can get the same data to follow along. For the rivers I will choose waterways It has all the data um, from rivers, streams, etc. inside the shape files. So we will generate the spline here from the spline mesh, and I take uh, the water static mesh, which is also in the brushify. But you can take any static mesh if you don't have this from brushify. Then the start segment mesh scale, you choose um, the scale which is appropriate to the width you want to get. You also have to look at uh, how big is your static mesh to uh, get the right value there. And we don't want to raise heights, we just want to lower heights. And here is also another option to paint a specific landscape layer, paint layer. We want to have mud as ground of our river. And with Geofabric D, we have the possibility to select which kind of waterway will be generated. You can scroll down on the landscaping infos and select draw vector data debug. And then you can see what will be imported before you import it. Just make the landscape invisible so it's not drawn above. So you can see these are the waterways which will be imported, the part of the shape file. You can select here river, this is the river, canal, not very much here of canal, stream is a lot of small streams. Yeah, drain, we don't want it. River, we select the river here, the beginning. And yeah, that's all from the selection process. And when we hit import, we get it pretty fast lines are generated and they will be in the appropriate spaces and also have altered the shape of the landscape painted the landscape material there you see there is mud also you might notice that um, even the landscape material is painted the um, grass type is still there, like here. You can see the grass type is still there, it's like this branches, the small branches. You can get rid of it. <coughs> it's a um, very simple process. I think it's a bug in Unreal Engine because uh, the material is right and it still paints the grass types here. Go to the landscape mode and in the paint section we have to uh, select the remove proce procedural if you don't have it most likely you will not you can just create it make sure it's not weight blended and then you can just make one tiny uh, one kind of dot here paint it a little bit and all the procedural will be gone on this layer. You see, uh, it will be fixed. Next up is add foliage fast with tips and tricks. 